Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining us for another great deck tech here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we bring you Apex of the Storm, a hilariously fun deck that explodes onto the battlefield in a storm of power. With a cost of $135 for paper and $62 or 62 ticks for MTGO, you'll have an amazingly janky combo deck that will sit quietly for a few turns and then take over the game in a wave of unstoppable power. Well, let's get to it. So this deck revolves around a single creature, Omni Spell Adept. For one blue and four, Omni Spell Adept is a 3-4 human wizard. And if you pay a blue and two and tap it, you can cast any sorcery or instant spell from your hand without paying the mana cost. Now the spell we're looking for is Apex of Power. This spell costs three red and seven. That's a converted mana cost of 10. Well, this spell exiles the top seven cards of your library and you're able to cast all non-land cards exiled this way. Since this spell will be cast from your hand, you add 10 mana of any one color. What we're hoping to find in our Exiled 7 is a spell called Omniscience. With that, you'll need to select blue for your 10 mana. Keep in mind, you will not be able to cast any of the other spells exiled with Apex of Power with Omniscience, since Omniscience allows you only to cast spells from your hand without paying their mana cost. But that's the beginning. Omni Spell Adept into Apex of Power into Omniscience, and now we need to find a win condition. To dig through your deck, you can cast Overflowing Insight. This is a sorcery spell for three blue and four, which you can cast with Omniscience. This will draw you seven cards. Some additional draw spells are Radical Idea, an instant for one blue and one with jumpstart that allows you to draw a card and then cast it again from your graveyard by discarding a card and paying its mana cost. Same thing for risk factor. It's an instant for one red and two that allows your opponent to choose between losing four life or allowing you to draw three cards. This spell has jumpstart as well. Now one of the other cards that you're digging for is Thousand Year Storm. This enchantment costs one red, one blue, and four. It creates a repeat effect for every instant and sorcery card cast before it. It states, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it for each other instant and sorcery spell you've cast before it this turn. You may choose new targets for the copies. This turns a small spell into a lethal TKO. For example, this deck plays four copies of Direct Current, a sorcery for two red and one that deals two damage to any target. This spell has jumpstart as well. Casting after three or four instants or sorceries can pile up the damage in a heartbeat. You could also turn the tables with an overflowing insight aimed at your opponent and mill them out in one fail swoop. Our support cards are Is It Lock It to get your creature out early and to give us some card draw, Lava Coil to remove any early game threats, Search for Ascanta to help us get to our win condition as fast as possible, and negate to hold off any attacks aimed toward our omniscience or our creature. For lands, we have 10 islands, 7 mountains, 4 sulfur falls, and 2 memorial to genius for extra card draw if we need it. The sideboard carries 2 additional lava coils and 1 additional risk factor if you find that you need them. It also has three dive down to protect your Omni Spell Adept. Two unwind if you run into any opponents who are casting multiple spells per turn that you want to stay ready for. Two Sinister Sabotage if you want to work through your deck faster and counter some early game spells. Two Time of Ice to slow down your opponent long enough for you to get to your apex of power. And three Rivers Rebuke, again to slow your opponent. Now to visualize how this deck works, here's a quick clip of the combo going off. So we start with turn five, 
and our Omni Spell Adept coming out of the battlefield. He comes in with Summoning Sickness, so we take a few punches in the face, dropping our life to 11. Turn 6, we cast Apex of Power. Now look what we exiled. Uh, we didn't hit our Omniscience, but we did hit a Thousand Year Storm. So we cast Overflow, Overflowing Insight to draw some cards and get our Thousand Year Storm out there. Pass the turn and take another punch to the face. Again, we cast Apex of Power. We find our Omniscience. And then we begin to storm. Radical idea for card draw. And then we cast Overflowing Insight and realize that we can't target ourselves for that because we will mill ourselves out. So we basically draw the rest of our deck. And then we cast Direct Current, which would be a colossal damage spell at that point. Well, thank you for watching. We here at Chuckwagon MTG hope you enjoyed this deck tech. If you did, please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification to see what's new. And be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Thanks again and be sure to find us on Facebook and Twitter. Let us know what you think. Now here's a word from our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.